Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alma. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I have a hard day in front of my computer. Um, cleaning in the morning, cooking, and take care of my daughter. daughter. Yeah, very busy day. Yes, yes, it's very busy. You're a busy mama. How many children did do you have, Alma? Three, a uh, three girls. Three, three children, or child, or you have a child that is three years old. Is a uh, uh, did he say? Sixteen, um, night, um, three, three years. Wow, that that yeah, it's that's that's a big difference between all of them. You you've um, you've waited a long time between one child and the other. It, how have you felt with that? Because um, there's a big difference, a big a big gap difference. How have you felt mm. being a mother a mother that way? <laughs> it's no planning. Uh, seven seven years of the difference, but it's it's beautiful. And uh, siento lindo tenerlas. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Just keeps you very busy. That's for sure. Yes, yes. The the first the first girl um helped me very very with with the. The baby, the three years. Yeah, that's an advantage when you have an older daughter, right? She can help you with the little one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's not easy. It's not easy. I, you know, even like for me, I only have one, but even with one, it's more than enough. I couldn't imagine doing, you know, two or three. Wow, I, I admire, honestly, I admire women that that have lots of children because I, I honestly couldn't do it. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys, uh, a girl's better set. Oh, no, no, yeah, we have, we have two guys. Yeah, so everybody, welcome. <laughs> All right, how was your day today, everybody? But my day not too well because my my son, well, my kid, um, fell fell down and scratched uh, his face in this part and a leg bleeds too much. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry to hear that. Um, did you have to take him to the doctor or to the hospital? No, no, no. I, I, um, I, I uh, clean in the the raspone. No sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. The scratches. The scratches. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cleaned off the scratches. Yeah. Um. You know, sometimes I don't know if you probably have heard that many people say to put on the scratches like a like alcohol. To clean it but the best thing the best thing to do is just put um, water and soap right so just wash it with water and soap that's the best way to to do it right so yeah, yeah so hopefully. It mm -hmm. yeah exactly and I put the the neovacina uh, in the scratches and um, it's fine it's fine okay yeah so it was just it was just the scare you know the, the the part the very scary part of seeing all the blood coming out i don't know how to say how to say but uh, 
y con él estábamos jugando a hacer competencia. Entonces corrimos de la cuesta del pasaje hacia abajo. So, él, él este, rodó. Mm -hmm. um, so, you were racing. You were racing and he fell and he tumbled. He tumbled, rodó. He tumbled. Uh -huh. Yes, tumble. Uh -huh. Oh, no, poor thing. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, that's life. I mean, if you, I, I say, I, I think something, if, if you have never fallen down uh, as a child, you have never, you haven't had a childhood. Yes. So, you know, yeah, yes. those are just part of life. You know, it's, it's part of, it's your rite of passage as a, as a child, you know, you have to have uh, those, those scars to, to prove that you've had a good childhood. So. <laughs> But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He will. He right now. He it hurts. But then when he grows up, he's gonna say, "Oh yeah, do you remember this? Yes, I did it with my mom when you know I was racing with her." You know, so yeah, he he he'll forget about it. So don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. So it will be actually a good memory instead of a bad one. So don't worry about it. I hope so. Yeah. I I'm I'm sure. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. Okay, what about the rest of you? How are you? Jacqueline, Anna, Mauricio, Michelle, Carla Ortiz, Rosa, I haven't heard from you. Also, Carla, Carla Maria has also been very quiet there in the corner. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, everybody. Good evening. Um, Good evening, Carla. Thanks. Thanks, God. Say correct. Thank God. Thanks, God. Um, no, no, S, um, no, S. Not, not thanks, God. It's just thank God. Thanks. God. Okay, for my job, but it's really, really a lot of work today and yesterday, but good, I'm fine. And I, triste because today is finally, Yes, but, today is the end of our, our course. Yes, I know. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Me too. I'm, I'm sad. But I but I'm happy at the same time because that means that you are advancing in the course. You are closer to your 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 goal. You are getting better at English. And that's a good thing, right? So yes, I know sometimes we don't want things to end, but we got to look at the bright side of things. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I understand, Carla. I feel the same <laughs> way. Thank you. Thank you for your passion, for you, for todo. Thank you for you, Miss a Teacher. You're welcome, Carla. Question, my passion or my patience? Two, two, two. <laughs> Your. You know the difference, Carla? Yes. Ambas cosas. Oh, okay, 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 fair enough. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you know, I, I, to be honest, yes, I, it is my passion. Um, I, I will be honest. Um, you guys already know that um, I'm, I'm a medical interpreter and I love doing medical interpretation, but I really enjoy giving classes as well. Um, I really enjoy being able to help people in general. So being able to teach you something that I know, that I know that will help you in your life 
for whatever reason because everybody is learning English for different reasons but knowing that I can help you in some way in your life that is something that for me is very important so yes that that definitely is something that gives me passion you know for my work you know being able to help you so definitely and yes patience too <laughs> but uh, but yeah i mean this is part of the the the, the profession being being patient right and you know it's not a big deal it's just so, for me it's something normal you know just i i understand that when when you are learning something you know everybody learns differently not everybody um learns like the first time like it's you know we we need we need sometimes we need a little bit more explanation that's okay i mean i'm i'm learning another language too myself okay i'm learning another language and i understand that sometimes we need a little bit of reminders and things like that so it's okay don't worry but yes i've i've i've, en I've enjoyed i've really enjoyed being with with all of you yeah Okay, well, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, you're going to make me cry right now. <laughs> oh my, okay. All right, let's, let's go now to, to, the, to the class, otherwise I will start crying here. Okay, all right, um, everybody. So um, today, I, um, I promised you that we were going to see the last part of the present perfect. Um, I told you that there were five functions that we were going to look at and that the first in the class on th on Tuesday we saw the first function the class on Wednesday we saw the function number two number three and number four and then today we're going to do section uh, the the fifth function okay all right so to do that I'm going to um, present my whiteboard and as always please let me know when you can see it so that I know that everybody can see it okay Can everybody see it or not yet? Yes, I can see. Yes, did you? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Uh, so I'm going to right here, the present perfect. Actually, I'm, I don't have to go so up this way. Let's put it over here. Okay, so present. Oh, hold on. Let me change the color. So this is part, third part here. Now, something. Uh, while I'm, while I'm writing this down. While I'm writing this, um, I want to remind you that it's very important that everybody, um, that everybody uh, learns um, the the different forms of the present, or better said, the present part. Sorry, the past participle of the verbs. That's very important. If you do not know the present perfect of the verbs then it's going to be very difficult for you to do the present perfect so, sorry the past participle of the verbs it's very it's going to be very difficult for you to learn the present perfect perfect okay so if you do not know it please make an effort to um make an effort to to learn it okay uh to go especially with those that are in the um in the or the irregular ones okay that's very important
Okay, so this is the fifth function, and the fifth the fifth function is when. Oh, hold on. When timing is not relevant, relevant, or it is unknown. So what that means is. What that means is so something happened in the past, but when it happened, it's not important. So what when it happened in the past is really, really not important. Or another possibility is that you know when it happened, or better said, you simply don't know when it happened in the past. So we know it happened in the past, but we just simply don't know when it happened. Okay, does that make sense? Yes or no? Does this make sense or not really? Can you explain again, please? Okay, so the present perfect, the fifth reason why we would use the present perfect is when we know that something happened in the past, but when it happened is really not important. So we don't really care about when it happened. We care more about the fact that it happened. We care about more more about um, the the action itself of, of happening. That's what's more important. That's what it means when I mean when it's not relevant. The timing is not relevant. So this part here, it's not really important when it happened. It's more important the action itself. Does that make sense? Yes, but it, this have consequence in the in the future or in the present. No, no. This one, this 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 function, no. This function doesn't really have to do anything about the present. Okay, that it really doesn't matter. But what is important is for you to understand that um, that it, it's, it's when it happened is not important yeah. or the other reason is because it happened in the past we know it happened in the past but when it happened is we don't know when it happened exactly the, the specific moment when it happened we do not know does that make sense yes right now yes <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to give you some examples to make it clearer, right? Because um, it's not the same um, that somebody tells you, then you actually see it as an example, okay? So, um, example. Okay, so we have visited New York twice. Question, is it important to know when we visited New York? No, really no. Because they say uh, visit New York twice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, what is important here is the fact that you visited New York, right? This part right here and this part here is what's important. Like the fact that it happened two times. That's really what's important. When it happened is not important. Even though we know that it happened in the past, okay? We know it happened in the past, but it's really not important when it happened, okay? Um, does that make sense for everybody? For 
for Salvadorian, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is, and when you did you visit the culture? Sorry, Lorena, I didn't understand the, the what you said. Could you repeat that a little bit louder? Here in El Salvador, yes, it is important. If you say, I have visited New York twice, the first question that people are going to do is, when? <laughs> okay. All right, Lorena. I understand what you're trying to say. Right. Okay. Good. Yes. Yes. I, I understand what you're saying. And you're right. People are going to be curious and ask when. But that is later. That is later in the in in the in the sentences. In the first sentence, what's important is not when it happened but the fact that it happened, okay? All right, does that make sense, Lorena? Okay, good, all right. So we have visited New York twice, okay? Now, um, so like I said, it's not really important when it happened, It's um, the timing is not relevant, okay? Um, now, we can also say, um, Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one. It's, it's, it's just simple. I'm just gonna use a simple sentence here. Uh, in the morning, sometimes when it's the winter time and you wake up and, and maybe you have, you have, you've been very, very tired and you've been sleeping all the night and you haven't heard anything at all. And then in the morning when you wake up, you see that the street is wet. And the, the, the trees also are wet. And you say, oh, it has rained. Ha llovido. Right? Now, when did it rain? At what time did it rain? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> so imagine you went to sleep at, I don't know, 10 at night. And you got up you got up in the morning at seven o'clock okay you're one of those people that like to sleep a lot so <laughs> you wake up uh, you know, nine hours later and what moment did it rain you won't know the exact tired so you never actually had the opportunity of even finding out approximately what time it rained at okay so you just you just said in the morning the the road is wet the trees are wet so you know it has rained so that is that is when um the that is when it, the it's the time is unknown does that make sense for everybody yeah <clears throat> yeah teacher okay so so far so good right everybody Everybody understands what I'm talking about, that the timing is not relevant or it, ha it ha is unknown. Another one could be, for example, the window, the window has been broken. Okay, in the window has been broken. Uh, when when did they break the window? It's not right. Sorry? Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Could you repeat that? Yeah, it's not relevant. Yeah, it's really not relevant. Right, and we probably don't know when it happened. It's really not important. We're, what is important is the actual action of the action, the action of of um, breaking the window. Right, so the window has been broken. Okay, so in, so let me show you what I mean by this. Um, so.
Okay, so Ro is going to start with how... Oh, sorry. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just give me a moment. It's actually over here. Okay, so it's going to be... It's either going to be using a have or it's going to be using the has. Okay? And after that, like I said, it's important that you know what is the past participle. Okay, so past participle of visit is visited, past participle of rain is rain, but because these are regular verbs, but in case in the case of the of the verb be, the past participle of be is regular. So it's then you say been, has been. Okay? So far so good? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, and now now we have um, it, now, it, Lorena brought up a very good point. Lorena said, because people are going to ask you, they're going to ask you, you know, what happened? When did you go? Blah, blah, blah. They're going to ask you questions about New York, right? They're going to be interested and that's okay. But so, and maybe not somebody is going, not only is someone's going to ask, somebody, maybe you want to give more details, right? You're the one who's going to want to tell people, oh, yeah, I went, you know, last year and, you know, I went, you know, um, in, during the summertime and we went to this place and that place and you want to tell people. And that's fine. And what we're, what we're going to be learning today is that when we give details about things that have happened, okay, when we give those details, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start using the simple past. So look at this sentence. We have visited New York twice. This is in the present perfect. Now, if I give details, then I'm going to use the simple past. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so notice, notice my, my sentence here, okay? Notice the sentence I'm writing, I'm giving more, you more information. So I say, we have visited New York twice, okay? When I start mentioning about something that happened in the past and we then maybe an experience, then this part here is going to be in the past part, the past, or the, sorry, the present perfect, but the details that I'd say are going to be in the simple past. So I'm going to say, we went three years ago and last year yeah. in January. 